Hello and welcome to the DRL Sim Academy and your first steps towards taking your first flight. In this video, we'll cover the basics of forward flight, braking, and turning in multiple ways. At this point, you should be able to hover and maintain control of the drone while in the air. If you haven't mastered this yet, be sure to check out the controls and hover video in the DRL Sim Academy. For this training exercise, we'll use a 30 degree camera tilt and a 120 degree field of view. And we'll also be using the 5 inch chameleon drone. We recommend using a drone like the 5 inch chameleon or the 5 inch tweaker to start as they are a bit easier to control, but this is completely up to you. We'll start out from the ground, give it some throttle and maintain a hover. Once you have a controlled hover, let's try flying forward. Increase the pitch stick, rotating the drone forward and stop when the horizon is more or less in the center. Be sure to adjust throttle a little to keep yourself from falling to the ground. You may notice you're flying faster than you can control. If this is the case, lower your throttle to zero and hit the reset switch to place the drone back on the starting position. Let's do it again. Increase throttle and maintain a hover. Then increase pitch until level with the horizon and adjust throttle. Be sure to move the stick slowly to ensure you don't rotate too far, causing the drone to go faster than you can control. This will require a delicate balance of throttle and forward pitch. Do this a few times until you can take off and fly forward with some control. Keep resetting the drone if need be. If you find that it's just too fast for you, feel free to lower the camera angle to 25 degrees or even 20 degrees if need be. Now let's try the same thing, but this time we're going to incorporate braking and then maintain a hover. Let's get started. Increase throttle and maintain a hover like before. Pitch forward and adjust your throttle a little until you're flying forward, slowly and smoothly. Now when you're ready, pitch back on the pitch stick until you're looking above the horizon as you were when your drone was on the ground. You may have to adjust your throttle up or down a tad to keep in the air and avoid hitting the ground. Now try to hold a hover. There you go. Let's reset and do it again. Keep doing this over and over until you can snap the drone in the air, hold, fly forward and then hold the hover again and now land softly. Congrats, you've now learned how to take off and land, hover and fly forward. Let's move to the next step. Next, we'll work on turning. To turn the drone, you'll need to be flying forward and use both sticks to turn in the direction you wish to fly. At lower camera angles, 20 to 30 degrees, you'll use a bit more yaw than you will roll. With higher camera angles, you'll use more roll than yaw in your turns. This simply has to do with how much angle the drone has in forward flight. For what we are working on today, you'll use more yaw. Watch as we take these turns nice and slow. You'll notice by looking at the controller that there is slightly more yaw applied. You'll have to be mindful of your elevation and be sure to maintain proper height in the turns to keep from dropping to the ground or too much throttle and going too high. As you come out of the turn, be sure to bring the sticks back to maintain a straight flight toward the next flag. As you watch us fly, place your hands on the controllers and thumbs on the sticks and mimic what you are seeing. Do this a few times. Okay, now it's your turn. From the ground, take off and maintain elevation. Pitch forward and level out the throttle to stay steady. Before you get to the flag, start your turn by moving your yaw stick toward the turn. Then right after you apply yaw, apply a bit of roll. The yaw comes just slightly before the roll is applied. Be sure to continue balancing throttle at the same time. If you crash, remember to lower your throttle all the way and reset the drone. Always get in the habit of lowering throttle anytime you are about to crash. This way, when you fly in real life, you'll have created the muscle memory to do this. It'll not only save your drone from too much damage, but could also lessen the damage to whatever you may hit. Let's try again. Take off and fly forward. Use both sticks to take the turn and steady the sticks back after the turn to maintain forward flight. Keep doing this over and over until you can make a smooth, tight to the flag turn, flying in an oval pattern. Once you feel comfortable with one direction, it's time to try the other direction around the flags. Once you've mastered both directions, you can fly around the flags in a figure eight. You'll want to do this more and more, even when you feel confident. Keep practicing. The goal is to get to a point where you can do this full throttle and very tight to the flags. The last step in today's training is using sharp turns to brake and stop quickly. You'll have to master flying forward, braking, and turning to do this next step. 
So if you haven't mastered those yet, keep practicing until you do, and then come back to this portion of the video. From the ground, take off and fly forward. When you attempt to turn, move the sticks more so, so that the drone is facing the opposite way. Then quickly flick the throttle stick up and back down to where it was previously, and then lower the throttle slowly to the bottom as the drone lands. It's a bit tricky at first, but we're essentially doing a 180 degree stalling turn, halting the momentum of the flight that we had flying the direction we were going, and then slowly lowering the drone. Watch as we do this move and practice along on the controller. Take off, fly forward. Turn around sharply with both sticks while maintaining elevation. Just as you face the other way, crank the throttle up and down in a split second to where you were on the throttle, and then slowly lower throttle and pitch back to land. You got it. Keep doing this until you've mastered it. That's it. You've successfully handled hovering and control, forward flight, braking and landing, turning, and even sharp turn braking and landing. We've covered a lot, but keep on practicing until you've mastered them all and it's time to move on. So be sure to watch the next video in the DRL Sim Academy where we take it one step further, getting you one step closer to flying like a pro.